Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's always nice to be out here in the garden. Well, anyhow, I wanted to share with you some tips and ideas on how to plant big boy tomatoes in your vegetable garden. So I'm really glad you could join me today. So follow me along and I'm going to show you where I'm going to be planting these big boy tomatoes. So let's head up past the garden structure to the other end of the garden. And so right here on the end of this 4 foot by 32 foot raised garden bed is where I'm going to be planting these big boy tomatoes right here in this section. So this is the area where I'm going to be planting a couple of these big boy tomatoes. But if you notice right above these tomatoes, I have a, a wooden structure, support structure, made out of a couple 2x4s. And I actually have hooks that I mounted underneath the 2x4. And I'm going to be ha hanging rope down there to support these tomato plants as they grow up. And it's a great, easy, effective way to support your tomatoes. So I ended up buying these tomato plants from Ray's Nursery nearby. I ended up buying a lot of transplants and uh, using them. I don't always have the time and uh, to be able to start seeds indoors. Plus, I like direct selling my seeds outdoors. And uh, this market pack of six cost me $1.60 at Ray's. If I buy a flat of plants, uh, which are 10 in a flat, it's $14, which ends up being 23 cents a plant. And so uh, let's just read some of the information here on this label on these big boy tomatoes. It says here they mature in 78 days and the fruit size is 10 ounces. It's a vigorous, indeterminate plant with heavy foliage, yields fruit until frost. And then, uh, you know, tomatoes are something you can always plant a little bit deeper too, up to the first branch or leaf. And then full sun, you know, you want to make sure your tomatoes get at least six to eight hours of sun. Same goes with your, your peppers and your melons, you know, your cantaloupes and zucchini and, and uh, watermelon. You know, all, all the vining vines, like at least uh, eight out, six to eight hours of sun, your, your greens can, you know, be grown in partial shade. And, uh, you know, whenever you buy a market pack of tomatoes, it's always good to pull one out and check the root system. Make sure they're not root bound, you know. And um, so you want to take time to, to do that when you go to, you know, some type of nursery. Now I'm going to be planting these in my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil. And you know the topsoil adds a lot of nice minerals to the, to the leaf compost. And that's one reason I like getting the, the topsoil. But anyhow, you want to make sure your soil is nice and loose. So I always use my garden fork and work that through your soil. You know, it never hurts too to, in the beginning of the season or even the fall, to get a soil test to check your, the fertility of your soil and also the organic matter. It only costs like $10. And it's something you would want to do like every three years. So work it through your soil real nice. And this, again, this garden forks 12 inches. So you can see how nice it goes in, the, nice and easy in 12 inches. And then I just take the back of my fork and level the soil off. Make sure you break up any clumps. I mean, a few little clumps isn't going to hurt anything. 
and then I have a hook above where I'm going to be suspending my rope. And so there's one hook there. I'm just taking a clump here and laying them on the soil. And uh, again, you can, you know, tomatoes are something you can plant nice and deep up to the first branch or leaf. And because the stem is also the root. And that, that'll produce a nice, strong, healthy plant. And so I'm just simply going to use my hand as a trowel. I like using my hands because it's something I, I can't lose, you know. Trowels, I kind of end up getting them lost in the garden. And so I'm going to be just planting two of these big boys right here. And so just simply dig a nice hole. I'm going to go a little deeper there on that one. And I always like getting my four fingers like this and just pushing down on the four corners. Firmly seating the, uh, the, the root ball into the soil. And then take some water and uh, water your plant in real good. You know, it wouldn't hurt to, to uh, fertilize these with a half strength fertilizer for, for a month or month. And um, once they get their feet in the ground, you know, they should be fine. And, you know, I always like to label my plant. And one other thing that I do here, uh, being I live in the woods, is I like to cover my, these tomato plants with a, a wire cage. And so I have one here next to me. And this is what I do to keep the deer off them. I have like a five by five piece of wire that I'm going to just simply lay over these tomatoes until they mature. Uh, and so uh, the wire cage here works out really well for keeping, keeping de the deer off. And so you just want to keep an eye on your plants. You know, the, if it gets real sunny out, you know, maybe water them every couple days. And you know, you can just, just check, keep an eye on the soil moisture. So anyhow, you know, planting tomatoes in your garden is something very easy to do. You know, last year my wife and I, uh, we froze 80 quarts of tomato sauce in our freezer. You know, we normally can, but I just didn't have enough time last year with starting Plant Smart Living. But I think we're going to freeze some and then also uh, can some. But, you know, the tomato plants, they don't really cost a whole lot, but it's amazing the harvest of tomatoes you, you can uh, get from a, even one plant. And so we just love our tomatoes here in our plant smart living gardens especially since my wife and I you know we're plant-based now we've we've changed our diet uh, we've turned it into a lifestyle we've gotten away from the meats and the dairies and the cheeses and the oils and switched over to plants getting our protein and calcium and vitamins and minerals from plants and personally I've experienced and my wife has two amazing results I've regained my health and all my joint pain went away and my blood pressure you know plummeted and my and my cholesterol level pl plummeted in fact my total cholesterol now is under 150 which makes you heart attack proof according to uh, Dr. Caldwell Esselstein and so you know again all my joint pain pain went away and all my ailments so it's amazing that you know allowing our bodies to heal uh, you know I tell people that plant-based lifestyle is the world's best kept secret. It's like discovering the fountain of youth. And so on top of that, I've also lost 65 pounds. And so, you know, it's uh, all my joint pain, my knee pain went away, my lower back pain. And so the results are just amazing. And so having my garden here now, it's has taken on a whole new meaning for, for me and my wife. And even my daughters have a lot of, I share a lot of produce with them and friends. But uh, since we get our fuel source from plants now, not animals uh, you know I just love especially having having this garden here so anyhow if you have any questions or comments about this video please leave them in the section below and I just want to thank you for joining me out here on this beautiful day here in Pennsylvania so I hope you have a great day so until next time this is plant smart living with farmer Fred